Hey guys, welcome to the show. Today, we're gonna give a little bit of analysis on what just happened. Arm Max are here. We've got the new MacBook Air, the MacBook Pro, and we've got a Mac Mini. And the good thing about it is, in fact, the Mac business grew by nearly 30% last quarter. Apple have finally realized that Macs are in fashion. So personally, I'm just gonna jump straight, I'm gonna jump straight to it. And I think the one to get right now is the MacBook Air. Now that's not to say that the cheapest one isn't the Mac Mini. <laughs> the great thing about these models is they all have the same processor and the processor is like, according to Apple, two times faster than the MacBook Pro they just released a couple of months ago. So yeah, I'm sorry guys if you just bought that old MacBook Pro. <laughs> what just happened? It looks good. I'm excited they got five nanometer chips. Things are apparently gonna be super fast. The one difficulty is that compatibility is gonna be challenging. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get some. I'm gonna check them out. I'm gonna find out exactly what the situation is with that. They do say they do have a Rosetta 2 platform which will translate Intel apps into Mac apps. And the good thing about it as well is that it will be compatible with iOS apps. So I could run my iOS apps that I make and it will just run straight on a Mac. So there is goods, positives and negatives over there. But I say the one to get is the 13 inch MacBook Pro, the 13 inch MacBook Air because fan noise, apparently Apple have listened. They've put like quiet fans in the marketing of their show, so they care about fan noise C. So the MacBook Air, it has no active cooling. There is no fans in sight. It's just a heat sink, pretty much like the old 12 inch MacBook that they used to make. But um, we'll see if it still runs fast. I know iPhones, they don't have a fan and they run fast, faster than Androids. So potentially this MacBook Air could run really fast. I guess I need to get a side-by-side -side comparison between the Pro and the Air. If you guys wanna see that, make sure you hit a like and leave me a comment and let me know you wanna see that and I'll do that review, side-by-side -side comparison. Is it worth getting the Pro? Now the Pro does have a fan. This MacBook Pro, I mean, it's fan noise seat right now because I'm doing some sort of OBS capture and all, all that kind of stuff. With its A4 CPU featuring the world's fastest CPU boards, but it has the world's fastest integrated graphics. And, but usually when the fans are running, they run very, very quiet. So if the fan noise of the 13 inch MacBook Pro is very, very quiet and it gives it an extra boost of performance, then I might like it, but I have a feeling it might have a noisy fan when it's doing some aggressive stuff to give it like an edge in performance. And if that is the case, then it's probably not worth paying extra money for the Pro because you're getting a tax on the extra for the Pro. You're not getting a better CPU, exact same CPU. Of course, you can run a bit faster with the cost of fan noise. You get the same number of Thunderbolt ports, only two in these models. And you know, it's the same CPU. Why would you pay extra for it, for a touch bar? Who wants a touch bar? I don't want a touch bar. I got keyboard external because I hate the touch bar. Maybe you guys out there like the touch bar, maybe for a kind of like a basic kind of, or maybe a future user. I got a mate, he's a, it's like an eight year old dude. He still has one of these Nokia phones and he doesn't even email. He gets his wife to send emails and he's living the life. Like he knows exactly where all the roads go in the world, like or in the street at least. Whereas me, I'm addicted to Google Maps. I need to just follow where Google Maps is taking me, going around the same roundabout again, again, and again. So maybe, you know, keeping some old manual labor skills isn't necessarily a bad thing. But let's jump to the Mac Mini. Now the Mac Mini, I was really excited about the Mac Mini. I was like, mm, I could do with like a, kind of like a studio media center kind of like equipment. Two things that I didn't like about it. You only get up to 16 gigabytes of unified memory. And I'm guessing unified memory means non-upgradable mem memory, non-upgradable memory. So the memory seems to be baked into the chipset according to the presentation. So you won't be able to upgrade it yourself. You can't get a 32, so that's a shame. And more importantly for me, for my case, you can only get one gigabit ethernet. You can't get 10 GBE. What is going on Apple? Why? The old model, the old model with the Intel, you can get 10 GBE. This one, you can't. So I'm a bit disappointed, but the price of it is very, very nice. I love, I love, I love that they've um, reduced the price for these ARM ones. I feel like the Intel ones, if they do release a 16 inch Intel one, a 10th generation one or 11th generation one, it's coming very soon. It's gonna be expensive and they're gonna make the ARM ones cheaper. But according to this M1 chip, it's apparently two times faster than all the laptops in the history of the world. So it's gonna be fun to try it out. Let me know what laptops you guys or Mac minis are you gonna be ordering. Are you scared of the big Sir transition? Goodbye Intel stuff. I know all of the applications I use, I'm scared to find out if they're gonna work or not. I'm excited about developing apps you know, that will run on iOS and get released on Mac at the same time with no faffing around. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited that they are starting to take Mac seriously. The presenter, the CEO said 30% growth Mac on Mac. So if that is growth, that means Apple are gonna invest in Mac so we're gonna get some good stuff. I'm not excited about Lockdown City. 
I guess you're not gonna be able to upgrade anything. We've been programmed that that's the way it is. So if anything breaks, you're pretty much stuck. I'm not excited about, yeah, Windows is gone. Parallels said they're gonna try getting Linux working very soon. But right now, I don't know how you're gonna run. Goodbye Windows, it is gone, forget about that. But according to the presentation, two times faster in this, that and the other. And one thing I gotta say is, did you watch the presentation? I love the studio. Did you see the studio that they got? Look at that. These Apple employees, apparently they work in a non-raising desk. I've got a raising desk right here, look at that. I can sit down and I can stand up. I've got ultimate luxurious comfort. Whereas Apple over here, they have to sit on these crappy little stools. How are you supposed to work? They've got no back support. They're walking around and all their Mac Pros, they've got wheels on them. Like they're plugged in. Where are they gonna be wheeling around these Mac Pros? It's a bit of a, a laugh watching their studio. I feel sorry for their back support. There's probably, uh, hopefully they've got good health insurance, but they do have a nice, you know, sexy looking machine. Look at that, the server's over there. And this guy's like, a, he, he's got the part, like he's, he's been cast perfectly as like one of those geniuses, so he can do a good job. And um, they've got some beautiful presentations there, but Apple employees, get some back support. The stools, they can't be healthy for you, unless you like, and, and raising desk. Even a poor man like me has a raised desk. Get a raised desk. That's enough of that <laughs> situation there. <laughs> Things are looking exciting in the world. Hope you guys found this video useful. Again, let me know if you're getting one of these bad boys or if you're excited about the reviews coming up. I guess I'll have to check them out side by side comparison. Let you guys know, let you guys know if it's worth upgrading. And I hope you guys enjoyed the show.